Let's start our journey with the first trimester from week 1 to week 12. In week 1, you're not officially pregnant. This is the week of the start of your last menstrual period. As the uterus sheds its lining and causes bleeding, the hormones are preparing another egg for release. The uterine lining is thickening and ovulation is getting ready to occur. You might feel a twinge of pain as ovulation occurs. This could be the week when an egg is released into your fallopian tube, it meets up with your partner's sperm. During the average ejaculation, around 350 million sperms have a chance at making the trip into the fallopian tube. The ones that make it will wait there for an egg for as long as four days. When the sperm penetrates an egg, fertilization and conception occurs. The fertilized egg is called a zygote. Immediately, the egg begins dividing into identical cells as it floats down the fallopian tube to the uterus. Once the blastocyst arrives during week 4, it will implant itself in the uterine wall and grow for the next 9 months. The blastocyst undergoes the great divide, splitting into two bundles of cells. The inner bundle will become your baby while the outer bundle will burrow deep into the wall of the uterus to become the placenta. And finally, you'll have the sign you've been waiting for, a positive pregnancy test, courtesy of the pregnancy hormone HCG, generated by the developing placenta. The embryo now is in a poppy seed size. In week 5, a primitive heart begins to form. The heart and circulatory system come first because blood flow is essential for the development of baby's organs and other systems, including the digestive and nervous systems. In week 6, your baby's brain and nervous system are developing quickly. Optic vesicles, which later form the eyes, begin to develop on the sides of the head, as do the passageways that will make up the inner ear. The baby's heart will begin to beat around this time, and might even be detected on ultrasound examination. The tiny heart now beats approximately a hundred times a minute. In week 7, the heart is completely formed. The limb buds are present on the face. The trunk of the main body is elongating and straightening. The head is relatively larger. The eyes appear as dark spots. The nostrils have overhanging borders. The tongue is beginning to form. The midgut hernia tears into the umbilical cord. The permanent kidneys begin to form. The appendix and pancreas are present. Spleen and liver ducts are forming. In week 8, the leg buds have divided into thigh, leg, and foot units. The feet are approaching the midline. The gonads, testes, or ovaries are forming. The arm buds have divided into hand, arm, and shoulder units. The hands are flexed over the wrists and meet over the heart bulge. The eyelids have almost covered the eyes. The external ear is well advanced in form. The head is in a more erect position and the neck is more developed. The limbs are longer. Cartilage appears where bones will later develop. In week 9, the abdomen and chest cavities become separated. The eye muscles and upper lip are developing. Using ultrasound, the first fetal movements can be detected. All fingers and toes are present. The urinary and rectal passages are completely separate. The diaphragm is nearly fully formed. In week 10, the eyes have moved from the sides of the head closer to the front of the face. 
The diaphragm begins to separate the heart and lungs from the stomach. Bones begin to replace the cartilage. Ankles and wrists are formed. In week 11, the head is almost half the size of the fetus. The eyelids have fused and will stay that way until week 24. The ears are still abnormally low on the sides of the head. The teeth are beginning to form. The fetus now weighs 10 grams and is over 5.5 centimeters long. That's about the size of a strawberry or a little caterpillar. In week 12, the lungs are completely formed. The thyroid gland and pancreas are now complete. A skeleton of cartilage is forming. If the forehead is touched, the fetus will turn its head away. The baby has developed sexual organs that will later show whether it is male or female. If you like the 3D medical animations, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.